we have the presentation of the Baden Powell Award. This unique this is unique to the National Capital Area Council, as it was created specifically for this event and named after the founder of the scouting movement to honor an exceptional volunteer. This year, we are pleased to honor Kate Matice, extraordinary scout volunteer and executive director of the Northern Virginia Transportation Commission. Kate Matice, will you please join me on stage? As a a volunteer that is surrounded by dozens of dedicated volunteers. Um, I'm truly humbled by this recognition. Um, throughout my scouting journey, I've had the opportunity not only to be a parent, but to be a leader and a mentor and a guide to both youth and adults. Um, I uh, have uh, had the chance to see the energy and enthusiasm of Cub Scouts, you know, those lions and tigers and bears, oh my, um, as they go on their very first camping trip. Um, or the focus and dedication of adventurers and Scouts BSA, their teens as they take on high adventures. Um, I've seen that there's truly something magic about the Scouting America program, and I realize I'm giving that name a little early. I'm getting on brand. You should be so proud. Um, so it's tough. It's tough being the last speaker, or near the last speaker. I should definitely not take um, that honor um, from Senator Manchin. So it's very difficult, because I know there's a lot of these things you've already heard. Um, but, um, but I'm really proud to be able to echo what so many people have said before me. Um, the Scouting America program's impact on youth is truly remarkable. Um, as we look to these young men and women and the next generation of leaders, you know, of the leaders of our community, um, of businesses of our country, uh, what we're providing for them through Scouting America is something that will make a real difference. Um, I don't need to amplify more. We have heard it already tonight. This is a really tough time to be a kid, um, whether it be the divided society that seems to surround them, they're infused with social media, and my goodness, they had to deal with a global pandemic. Um, you know, this is not what we all grew up with, right? Um, but what I've seen firsthand um, is that Scouting America program is providing the tools and frankly, the opportunities that are building up these youth. Um, from Cub Scouts, Scouts BSA, Venturing Sea Scouts, haven't even mentioned that this evening, a fantastic program. Uh, Scouting America is providing our youth with space to try new things, to support each other, help their community, uh, and become more confident and really become more empowered members of their community. Um, to see young men and women barely out of middle school, and I've seen this, successfully carrying canoes and gear over the portages for a week up in Northern Tier, um, or seeing kids going through all types of weather in the mountains of Philmont. These are challenges that most adults don't even try. Um, so this is scouting, they're taking on adventures and they are realizing that they actually can do difficult things. And then to witness like 15 or 16 year olds standing in front of a crowd, not too different in size from this one, and just think about that when you're in high school, standing up here, although we have some fantastic speakers that did that earlier this evening, teaching how to create a vision, how to be effective communicators, how to resolve conflicts. Our own scouting youth are leading and teaching at the National Youth Leadership Training courses that are provided to our older scouts. These scouts are teaching others how to be leaders. Or they're seeing dozens of Cub Scouts designing, you know, soda bottle rockets um, that can launch, or scouts doing some really amazing hands-on experiments through all those STEM merit badges. These are scouts that are learning, and they're learning through having fun. And finally, to see scouts participating in honor guards, and I'm so proud of the scouts that did that. Um, those are scouts from my units um, that participated in that this evening. Or, you know, collecting food for our communities through Scouting for Food. Um, cleaning up trails and watersheds, and yes, the coveted Eagle Scout project. Um, scouts are becoming better citizens in service to others. Adventure, leadership, learning, and citizenship. That's really the magic of the Boy Scouts of America and Scouting America. So I am incredibly honored to be here representing so many other scouting volunteers who are helping make every day and make this magic every day for all of our youth. Um, and of course, that would be those same volunteers that claim or have been told they're only doing one hour a week. 
Um, so I do have some personal shout outs. Um, I'd really love to recognize the scouts and leaders of Troop 1345B and G, several of whom are here in the room. Um, the leadership of the Burke Lake District, um, they're also here this evening. Um, and uh, a very special shout out to my family, uh, my parents um, who came out, including my dad, who was a, I'm probably not going to quite get it right, but I'll say a provincial commissioner in, uh, in Scouts Canada up in Ontario when I was a child, um, as well as then to my husband. Uh, and I do have um, two Scouts, my Eagle Scout, who is up in Pennsylvania in college, um, and my so close to Eagle Scout, like so close, <laughs> Joshua, who's sitting right there. So thank you again for this honor. Um, it really, It really is truly humbling. Thank you. Congratulations, Ms. Matice. Thank you for your commitment to scouting.